Hello everyone, welcome to a, uh, my, 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 um, my routing video. Um, I think this is like my third time trying to record this. D just because I, I always keep messing stuff up and I want to make sure I get this one just right. So, um, strap in guys, this, uh, this one's going to be like packed full of information. Okay, so, um... Basically, part of what I have to do for this little challenge thing that we have going on in my server is I have to be as transparent as possible with, like, all the... everything that I'm going to be doing. <clears throat> so, um... Yeah, th this video is part of that. I also uploaded some notes to my to my server as well, so if anybody wants, like, a more, like, stable reference material, well, I, those are available as well. Um, but essentially, I'm just going to be doing the, the first step, like, as normal. So, just to, like, actually show that. That would be, uh, stamina fall. Always need those. <clears throat> Run to the church, uh, get the crafting kit from Kale, and then uh, get the grace here, and then just hammer on over to Gatefront. And uh, those who are curious, yes, I will be doing, the, what is it, the Cave of Knowledge. Um, I'm not going to be doing Fringe Folk just yet. I'm going to do that, like, right before Margit. <clears throat> but uh, effectively, that that's going to be, uh, I'm going to be doing the Cave of Knowledge, get my 600 runes or whatever it is that I get from doing all that. And then I'm going to go to Kale, and then I'm going to get the crafting kit. <clears throat> and then I just head over straight to Gatefront. Just a little bit of a jog. Oh, he's walking towards me this time. Oh, I'll take him on. Daha, idiot. I didn't drop anything. Whatever. <clears throat> I know I said this was going to be packed full of information. I'm like super quiet right now, but I mean... There's not much to say. I'm getting... I'm literally going to get my horse. <clears throat> and then this is where I'd get my horse. Uh, sit down, rest of the side of Grace, talk to Melina, then get all that stuff. Probably pick up the map along the way. Um, and then I would just teleport back to the Church of Ella. <clears throat> or Ella, whatever it's called. Uh, get the Spirit Collar Bell, so that way I can summon my spirits from the Witch Renna. And then, basically, at, at that point, I would do my circling route, uh, where I go up, I get the Golden Seed, and then I get all the Graces, get the War Master Shack, especially because I think, I think Dude has a skill there that I want for one of my shields that I'm going to be getting. And then just do my circling route around Limgrave. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... I do plan on doing Blyde's Quest as well. Uh, I definitely want to get that out of the way. I want to get the Bloodhound's Fang. Um, I think anybody who saw in my notes that I uploaded that I'm going for an arcane playthrough and that the Bloodhound's Fang isn't necessarily suited towards that, um, but it does still it does still scale really well with um, with dexterity, and that's essentially what I'm going to be going for because my build right now that I have on this playthrough is like 43 dex, so yeah. <clears throat> And I think my strength is, like, at the bare minimum for, what is it, um... The, the Moog's, Moog's, uh, Great Spear, or whatever it's called. Yeah, whatever. And then my Arcane and Faith, or my Arcane is what I pump everything into. Uh, because I'm going to be going for Rivers of Blood. 
And yeah, that's gonna be that. <clears throat> I do my circling route, and then once I do have everything circled, I'm actually gonna be making my way through. I can show that one. Okay, that was that was awful. Okay, 70, 77 runes. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Um, there, there's a bunch of nonsense that's here, so I'm just gonna zoom past it. But really, I want to make it down to that grace. And I'm going to be making it to the, um... Come on, where is it? Murkwater Catacombs, I'm going to be doing that. And then I'm going to be making my way down, um... Right outside Murkwater Cave. <laughs> um, there's going to be What's-His-Face who invades me, and then Yura comes and helps me out. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Yura's gonna show up, he's gonna help me out, and then, um, the dude who has Reduva, the Reduva Blade, that's gonna be what I'm going for, because that, that does scale with Arcane, and I, the crit that I get on it, the critical is 110, uh, that critical is gonna be really nice to have, especially for early game, and especially for a weapon that is, like, specifically suited to what I want to do. So, yeah. <clears throat> That's going to be my play for early game, is Reduva and uh, Bloodhound's Fang, except I'm going to be using Reduva more as a backup rather than anything else. I, I just don't see it uh, for uh, any other way. I, I don't plan on staying with it for long, especially after I get Rivers of Blood. It, it's, it's over. Um, and then I'm going to be doing Murkwater Cave, going to get patches, going to talk to, or, yeah, going to get patches. He's got the Murgid Shackle. Uh, that's definitely going to be really good to have for, uh, first for Murgid, and then Morgot, uh, when I get to the capital. Yeah, capital, excuse me. And I'm going to be fighting the dragon, so that way I get the runes and some of the dragon communion stuff. Um, at some point, I'm going to swing over to Coastal Cave, so that way I can get the Church of Dragon Communion. Um, I'm not sure when exactly I plan on doing that, but... I, I do plan on doing, like, everything that's here first, and then I'm going to be moving on to Weeping Peninsula. There's only two real big things that I really want from Weeping Peninsula. Um, that is the Frame of, Flame of Frenzy. Uh, and, of course, I got the two churches and, um, Castle Morn. Because <clears throat> there's an achievement boss there, and I, I think it'd be de uh, completely dishonest if I just skipped the achievement boss while the, while the noobs had to go fight him. So I, I think that's kind of fair for me to just do it that way. Um, I mean, there, there's also ideas to get the Zweihander as well. Um, that might be a backup if I'm just feeling it, but, uh, the Zephyr Hander is also here. <clears throat> and then once I'm done with, uh, Flame of Frenzy, Castle Morn, and anything else that I want to get, I, I think the Opaline Bubble tier is here, is here as well. Um. Yeah, I think it's there. I might be mistaken on that. <clears throat> Scroll through my stuff here. Um, then I'm going to be going to the Tower of Return, so that way I can get all the way up to the capital and make sure that I at least get um, the the capital grace that's going to be there. Um, and I think the what is it the the ble um, oh, what is it called the the blessed dew talisman I think. Yeah. Slowly restores HP. It's uh, two HP for uh, per tick, I think, per second. So that's going to be real good passive uh, health regeneration uh, early game. 
definitely definitely a real good play to have especially since the the risk of getting it is like minimal so no de def definitely good play um and then once i'm in mistwood uh side note once i'm in mistwood i am going to be getting siofra but i'm not going to be getting i'm not going to be getting all of siofra i'm just going to be getting the grace and then i'm going to be moving on <clears throat> I don't plan on it. I'm just not a big fan of like uh, of doing the the underground stuff just yet. I, I want to get the grace and then I just want to move on. And then once I'm done with Weeping Peninsula, I'm going to be moving straight up to Margate and Stormvale Castle. And uh, <clears throat> and then from there. I'm just going to be moving on to Lyernia, because th that's the direction that the game points you in, and, I mean, that's fine. Eh. <clears throat> uh, there's also a route that I can do to, like, use a bunch of teleporter nonsense to get to, what is it, EG's going to be over there, and then... Um, there's a bunch of somber stones that I can grab early game. I know that there's a somber five right outside of, oh, where is it? It's the trap. So yeah, crystal tunnel, I think. Yeah, because you slide out of there. Either way, there, there's a somber five that's in Caleb that I can get early. That's just free. So I'm going to get that, and I'm going to have a plus five uh, Bloodhound's Fang before I even get to Margit. And that that's going to be my play, is to just run with Bloodhound's Fang until I can get uh, to the capital. <clears throat> and then once I'm, Le uh, once I'm in Lyurnia, uh, my two big things that I'm going to be looking for are Lakeside Crystal Cave and the Village of the Alunurix. And that is just so that way I can get clues for the Dectus, uh, not the Dectus, um, the Halig Tree Medallion. Um, also, Latena is going to be at the Slumbering Wolf Shack. Latena is essentially a free, um, what is it called? A, a free Somber 10. I think it's called an Ancient Dragon Somber Stone or whatever. But no, that if you start her quest, if you start Lieutenant's quest, you definitely, uh, you, you're opening up, uh, once you get to Consecrated Snowfield, you get a plus 10. And that's going to be invaluable to have, because I think there's only, like, oh, I, I might be wrong on this, but if you do, like, everything, there's only, like, five or six that you can get in each game playthrough. Maybe more, maybe less... Something like that. But either way, I'm definitely going to want as many somber stones as I can get. Again, I'm, I'm going to be planning for Rivers of Blood and Naga Kiba with Occult Scaling and Seppuku. Th that, that, that's going to be my, like, my endgame build. So, like, what, I, what I'm running with right now. I, I've got the Naga Kiba... And, yeah. Oh, but I think this only lasts for 20 seconds. Oh, let's find a dude I can bully. Prove my point. Yeah, like, dude. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It stays in the sheath. Holy cow. That That is neat. Okay, sorry. Um, but yeah, that's definitely going to be the play, is uh, get to Lyernia and do those two things. 
Um, I mean, at the at some point, I'm also going to be doing the carry and study hall. I'm not too sure how I'm going to fit that into my route. Um, I know the finger maiden lady, the blind lady, is going to show up after I kill Godric, so her quest is going to be uh, something to do. And if I do we uh, Weeping Peninsula, everything that's there, if I kill if I kill the dude at Bridge of Sacrifice, um, that's a free Shabri uh, Grape. And then I know there's another one, like, right in the castle. So, uh, Grape Lady, she's... She, she's on the list, I guess. Um, I also plan on doing Raya's quest. Where's Raya? I think she's going to be, like, somewhere in here. Uh, talk to Raya. I definitely, I, I definitely want to get Raya so that way I can get to Volcano Manor easily. And then Royal Pawn, or... Boil Prawn, excuse me, Boil Prawn dude, uh, he needs to stay alive for as long as he can because I want the, what is it, the Boiled Prawn, I think, gives you the, the attack buff. That's going to be real nice to have. Um, <clears throat> there's, what is it, the Converted Tower, that's going to be uh, something to hit. Because I want spells as well. Oh yeah, I should probably talk about that for a minute. Um, Fringe Folk Hero, Hero's Grave is definitely a must must visit, I, I guess, uh, on my on my route here because I want Oleg. Oleg's going to be invaluable for the first like big chunk of my route. Um, he he's a tank. He does work, and I, if I were to ever have a wedding, okay. <laughs> If I were to ever get married, I swear to God, Oleg is going to have a seat at my table. Even if he doesn't show up, I'll just tell people, like, hey, Oleg's not here, so that way I can be here. You get it? That, that is how important Oleg is to me. <laughs> um, and the Dragon Communion Seal is also in Fringe Folk as well. And I'm definitely going to need that. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah. That gets me two of my things that I need. Yes, okay. Uh, Fort Haida is here as well. There are there are ideas of using the Bloody Slash uh, as like an early like seppuku kind of thing, but I, I'm not sure. <sighs> I don't think I I'll, I'll use it, but the the idea of of it being there as a backup is definitely definitely free and available. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, Lakeside Crystal Cave, Village of the Albanerics, uh, the Study Hall Tower is going to be there. Jarberg might be something to visit at some point, wherever that is. Yeah, it might that might be uh, an idea. I'm not sure I'll actually do it, but it, it will be there if I want to. <clears throat> uh, Angel, gonna get the Angel uh, Grace again, like Siofra, gonna get the Grace, but I'm not actually gonna do it. Uh, the church here, Turtleboro, Turtleboro is amazing. Need Turtleboro. Um, he can give me he can give me some of the incantations that I'm gonna be using, like a uh, Flame Grant Me Strength. Or, no. <clears throat> no, because that's a spell that you pick up. Never mind. I, I might skip a turtle, bro. Never mind. Uh, Black Knife Cat. Black, uh, Black Knife Catacombs, definitely uh, another place to visit. Um, because that will help me get... Where is it? Yeah, that will help me get to uh, the the dragon remembrance that's over here. So de definitely, de definitely important. And then once I'm do done in Lyurnia, I'm going to be doing the southern half of Kalid. I'm going to be avoiding Radon as much as I can. Um, basically, I want to do him. I, I want to do his boss battle as late as possible. Um, and the reason for that, one, it's going to be much easier when I actually do get around to fighting him. Two, 
it, I just want to. I, I don't think there's any better way <laughs> to say it. I, I just, I just don't want to deal with Verdon too early. Everything else I can deal with, but Verdon, he, he's just a completely different bag of nonsense that I do not want to deal with. Um, but while I'm in Kaled, I'm going to be doing uh, Gowry's thing. I'm going to be doing Millicent's thing. Uh, Millicent is definitely. <sighs> Millicent is definitely on my list of NPCs to, like, run with because she has the Rotten Winged Sword insignia. Yes, that. And basically, what this does, as it says, uh, raises attack power with, succe with successive attacks. So, basically, the more I hit an enemy, like, the more my attack power goes up. And if I'm running with something like Seppuku and Flame Grant Me Strength, that, all of this pairs together very, or places together very nicely. So, that, that's going to be my big play for when it comes to buffs. So yeah, doing all of Southern Kaled. Uh, big man might be a problem. I'm not too worried about him. I, I do have a couple of sh of uh, cheese strats lined up that I can do. Uh, Sully, a town of sorcery. Uh, that that just goes in with Millicent's thing. So uh, anything associated with doing Millicent, just assume I'm going to do it anyways. <clears throat> And then once I'm done with all that, and after I do the boss in the Red Main Castle Plaza, then I go to the capital and... <clears throat> I'm going to be avoiding Dectus because I don't want Raya to spawn there. I actually want Raya to spawn in the Lux Ruins. And the reason for that is because Raya is going to be right next to Millicent. And my route, my route in mind that I have here is that I'm going to be talking to Millicent and be like, yo, hey girl, what's it going? You're missing an arm. Let me go find you one. And then I'm going to be getting her an arm. I could have sworn... Oh yeah, there are. Okay. So I'm going to be getting her arm from the Shaded Castle and then I'll go back to her and be like, yo, I got you an arm so that way you can slap people better. And then I'll talk to Raya and then she'll take me to Volcano Manor and then I do all that fun stuff there. And then, essentially, everything in Western Altus is going to be my next target after at that point. Uh, Alexander is going to be over there. I think there's a Magma Worm in the area, too, that I'm going to have to worry about. Um, anything over by the Hermit Shack, I, I think this is the one I don't like. I'm just going to be skipping. <laughs> I, I do not want to deal with it. And then once I'm done with Western Altus, I'm going to move over to East Altus. Oh yeah, there's a Skelly Boy here that I think I want to hit and get taken care of. Yeah, whatever. Uh, East Altus, uh, Second Church America, Yura is there. Um, that is where his quest ends. Uh, he has a quest in three parts. Uh, technically four. The first one is going to be in the valley, Murkwater Valley right here. Uh, the guy that invades you and then Yura uh, summons and he helps you fight this dude. Um, that's the first part. Uh, the pseudo second part is you fight the dragon that's here. But from what I've seen, you don't actually need to kill the dragon. He, he just says, oh, hey, there's a dragon. Watch out. Be careful. And if you, if you kill the dragon and you go back to him, he's like, oh, hey, nice job. Just don't let it get to your head. And then that's that. Uh, the second spot, he's going to be at the academy. I think he's at the main academy gate. Like, you go northeast-ish. Something like that. Because he has a summon thing that's, like, right by after uh, where you walk in. And that's the, that's the actual second part, and then the third part is going to be the uh, Third Church America. He's like, oh, hey, I found this one person who I've been tracking. Uh, they were just too much for me, so you better run while you still can. Then you end up killing that person, and then they give you... Uh, what do they give you? The pure blood mixture? Hang on, I, 
I, I have it. I know I know what it is. It's the the purifying crystals here. There we go. Uh, basically, this helps with fighting Moog. It, it's it, it's nothing too crazy, but it is going to be extremely helpful for this one particular boss fight. Okay. And then, yeah, Yura's quest is definitely a, a big, big thing to keep in mind. Uh, and also, I get his sword from him, and that can be upgraded up to plus 25, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 25. And then, as a fact, uh, essentially, I'm just going to be circling around Eastern Altus, because I don't really have any reason to be in this central area. I mean, yeah, I can fight the thing that's at the minor Erd tree, but I, I don't. I, I'm not sure if I'll care enough. So the windmill village, uh, skinny, um, the Godskin, whatever it's called, skinny boy. He's going to be here in the windmill heights. Uh, I summon Millicent. Millicent's going to help me fight this dude, and then that's the next part of her quest. After I give her her arm. And I think I get the Black Flame Tornado, what is it, the... The Godskin Peeler, I think it's called. And, yeah, that... So, gonna be fighting Skinny, and I'm gonna be coming down, there's a dragon here that I can fight, and outside of the Hero's Grave, there's a Black Knife that I can fight that will uh, give me the Weapon Black Knife, which is gonna be extremely helpful for certain parts in the Haylig Tree, and a couple other bosses that I'm going to have to deal with. I think Margit is, or Morgat's going to be on that list. Yeah, Morgat, uh, I know there's a sea beast in, in the Haylig tree that is just a pain to deal with. The music changed. <laughs> Actually, I know what I'll do. <laughs> um, <clears throat> then I'm going to get to the capital. Uh, the Draconic Tree Sentinel that's going to be there, like at the capital outskirts, my my route that I'm going to be doing there, and I, I've given this a little bit of thought, but and the, here's what I've come up with. I'm going to be fighting the Draconic Tree Sentinel, and after I, like, axe that guy, and, and you know, like, give him the good old... Uh, the, the good old one two good night. <laughs> um, where would it be? Um, then I'm just going to get the grace here, and I'm going to pop back to Caleb so that way I can fight Radon. And I know if I do like Harry Manor and I do like uh, Ronnie's quest that it will unlock uh, re the Radon fight after a point, but I'm not in any rush. I'm not in any rush to do that. I'd rather fight Radon like as late as possible, and the the best thing I can come up with is just putting his fight like right here after the Draconic Tree Sentinel. Because <clears throat> if, I, if I can fight this dude just fine and not have any problems, then I can fight Radon without any problems. And that's essentially what it boils down to, is just... I, I don't want to have any problems fighting Radon, because I, I hate his boss fight. I really do. I, I think that the archer phase that he has is just absolute nonsense, but... You know, differing opinions. If you like the boss fight, I mean, congratulations. I'm not going to, like, poo-poo you for it or anything. And I respect the same... Res I, I expect that return of respect... Like, oh, hey, you don't like the boss fight, that's fine. Like, dude, that's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking, I'm not asking for too much here. Um, and then Mountaintops of the Giants after... <clears throat> after I fight Morgoth. Uh, Mountaintops of the Giants is fairly straightforward. All I got here is 
Uh, the Seppuku weapon art is going to be here. Uh, I want to visit Castle Soul at some point, so that way you can get the rest of the Halig Tree Medallion for uh, for Latina, who's going to be in, again, the Slumbering Wolf Shack off of Lakeside Crystal Cave. Um, and then Paul. <clears throat> and that's it. There, there's not much else here. Uh, I mean, there's also the contract here for Volcano Manor, and Volcano Manor, um, what I'm going to be doing with this is I'm not going to be doing the Rikard fight until after I get Hoslo, and if Hoslo wasn't in, like, the worst place ever, it'd be fine, but no, th this just sucks. I might actually upgrade Rivers of Blood before I fight Hoslo, I don't know. That might be a much smarter play. <laughs> yeah, I never thought about that. I, I think that might be the way to go. Now, now that I'm actually putting a little bit of thought into it, just get Rivers of Blood and then fight Hoslo. Um, anyways... Hey, Lake Tree Medallion, Fight Paul, uh, Forge of the Giants. At that point, if I want to go to Ferro Missoula, it's up to me. I probably won't do it just so that way I'm not getting, like, too much of an immersion break. Um, and then I'm going to go to Con uh, Consecrated Snowfields. <clears throat> and the way that this works, there are two main teleporters. There's one in Ordina, and then there's another one, like, I want to say right here-ish. Maybe, maybe here. I, somewhere in this general vicinity. It takes you to uh, Mogwin's Palace. <clears throat> and I think my workaround for that is I'm just going to do Vare's Quest. And then once I, once I beat... Excuse me. I'm going to do Vare's Quest so that way I can get the, the napkin thing that teleports me straight to Mogwin. Or Mogwin, whatever it's called. And then after I beat Paul, I'm just going to go straight to Mogwin and then do all that nonsense. And that probably might be the way that I want to do that, to do all the underground stuff. No, because I got a Kron. I don't know. The, the underground stuff has, has a weird flow to me. I'm, I'm not sure how I want to handle that exactly. But yeah, fight Paul and then do the Forge of the Giants to go to Fair Missoula, and then basically do everything there except for Malekith, and then pop over to Ordina, and then pop into uh, uh, the Halig Tree. There we go. Yeah, it took me a minute to get that. Uh, pop into the Halig Tree, do everything there, and then once I'm done with the Halig Tree, yes, that does include fighting Melania. Um, and then once I'm done with Melania, I'm just going to pop back over to Fair Missoula so I can fight Malekith, and then I'm going to finish out Endgame there. And that's pretty much what I will be doing. Um, and for gear... Really, Raptor's Black Feathers is what I'm looking at. <clears throat> Uh, my physic, I'm probably, oh, hang on, my physic, if I pick it up, I'm probably going to get, uh, fire, uh, flame shrouding, yeah, flame shrouding and something, I don't know. Yeah, f uh, flame, uh, uh, essentially flame shrouding is just going to be my, my main thing that I have because Rivers of Blood, uh, I think the way the flame shrouding works is that it boosts fire damage, and then if I have that with flame grant me strength, that boosts both physical and fire, and that that's going to be, that's going to be the play. 
So get Flame Grant Me Strength from uh, from the castle that's on, what is it, Western Caled, I think. And then just, just zoom. Um, I'm going to be running with the Dragon Communion Seal. Naga Keep is going to be my end game. Rivers of Blood is going to be my end game. Uh, Two Fingers Heirloom, so that way I can get Dragon Spells. Um, I'm going to be running with Rot and Ice um, for my first start, or my first half. <clears throat> and then I'm going to be switching over to Fire and Glintstone. And then, of course, Flame Grant Me Strength and Flame of Frenzy as well, uh, if I need a backup. Uh, Erdtree's favor, I might run with that. Uh, God's Quinn Swaddling Cloth, that's an idea. Um, I mean, if not that, then Lord of Blood's Exaltation, or... What else? Probably Ritual Sword, if I can keep it. Or Fire Scorpion. I don't know, there there are a lot of there are a lot of ideas. And of course rotten swing uh, rotten wing sword, there we go. And yeah, that that's so uh, essentially it's gonna be th this is what I'm working with. Yeah, and when I get to my endgame, I want it to look something kind of like this. Uh the Urtree's favor is give or take, but uh, effectively I want something like this. And yeah, what do I got? I got uh, Flame Grant Me Strength. I've got, where is it? Uh, Flame of Frenzy. Uh, 16 Faith, and I think I'm running 14 right now as a base, and then I got the, the Talisman that gives me... What is that, plus 5, I think? Yeah. Uh, unendurable frenzy. I mean, that's a that's a thing to have. Frenzied burst is going to be really good um, if I want to dedicate more to faith. Uh, Hellish Abriri, That's a buff, but I can't do. I, I can't dedicate that much faith to it. But I will be able to have uh, Rotten Breath and Dragon Ice, at, like I said, as my start. So I'm going to have those two at the start, and then Glintstone Breath, and then Dragon Fire. Once I get to, like, endgame. Because Glintstone Breath has, like, really good uh, damage output. As I've found out recently. And I might run with uh, Blood Flame Blade after... After I start. Uh, in Lyurnia, I think there's a beetle there that has it. <clears throat> but yeah, that, that's that's my basic ideas. And uh, just for anybody who who's like curious, yeah, there we go. Uh, for, just to like set the record straight, th this is an outline video. The this basic idea, <clears throat> like I said, jam packed with information. And I mean, if you guys know how to interpret everything I'm saying, then you know exactly what my train of thought is. Uh, some of you might be questioning it, but you you still know what my train of thought is. And if you're new to this, um, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> but yeah, the, the, just want to throw this out here. The, this is what I'm thinking for my route for the challenge that I get coming up. So, yeah, looking forward to it. I actually think I'm happy with this video this time. I gotta think, is there anything else that I would need? Um, oh yeah, finishing up Millicent's quest. That's gonna be over the uh, drainage channel. Oh, over right by it. I think it's like right before the prayer, or right after the prayer room, something like that. I don't know. But yeah, I, I want to do Millicent's quest. I want to do Yura's quest. 
Uh, Raya, I want to be really nice to her and I want to have her spawn over by Lux Ruins so that way when Millicent is there, uh, it's going to be fine. Uh, Ronnie's Quest. <clears throat> Let's talk about Ronnie's Quest a little bit. It's going to be a pain. Uh, because I have to, I have to fight Radon, basically, and a, a lot of her quest depends on me killing Radon, and then once Radon's dead, then I can do the thing and get to, what is it, Noxtella, I think? Or Necron? Is that what it is? Yeah, I think, ne Necron, the Eternal City. And then we go to the Night Taker Ground, and then that's, that's the first part of her quest, and then she's like, oh, hey, you gave me a knife, that's cool. And then she opens up her sister's tower, and then that takes me to Angel River, Maine, and then I gotta do Lake Rot. Oh, I hate Lake Rot. And then Estelle, Natural Born of the Void. Oh, yeah, and in in with doing Night Sacred Ground, I mean, I'm also gonna have to do the uh, the Ancestral Spirit. But I, I don't have as much of a problem with doing that as I do with getting to Estelle. I, I just hate the Lake of Rot and that little section that's over there. <clears throat> then, of course, there's going to be What's-Her-Face that's over here. So, of course, naturally have to do Rajir, D, and uh, Fia's quests. All three of them. And that will get me this remembrance that's over here. And then that's like three of the 15 remembrances that I need, so. Yay. I don't know. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I, I haven't played Elden Ring in a minute uh, because I've been playing so much Bloodborne. But I, I'm kind of, I am looking forward to doing this little challenge. Okay, what? It's... Godric, Radon, Renala, Morgoth, Rikard, Paul, Melania, Malekith, Mogwin, Ancestral Spirit, Dragon Thing, Estelle, and then I think Dragonlord plus Dusax is in, yeah. And then I think those are all the Remembrance bosses. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And then all the guys who are over here, and I think this is what, two? Two remembrances that are right here, so that's Horlu and Elden Beast. So yeah, I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> it's gonna be a fun run. I'm really looking forward to it. Again, basic out out outline of a video. I, I just want. This is basically just me jotting down my notes. It's not going to be, like, the perfect execution, but I just wanted to give a rough idea of how I'm going to be approaching this and what is most, I guess, ethical. Eh, not ethical, but mo most um, logical to me and what my, my mind of approach is. So, yeah. <clears throat> Looking forward to the challenge. If this helps anybody, I mean, hey... Congratulations. All I did was point at a map, but hey, if it works, it works. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, no I can't think of much. I, I, I got the basic outline, so we're good. Discuss my gear a little bit. Yeah, no, we're, we're good. There you go. Alright, guys. I appreciate any of y'all watching, and I appreciate having the opportunity to actually do this so that way I can upload this and, like, real-time discuss my train of thought. 
just so we're all uh, as close to the same page as possible. So, yeah. Again, really looking forward to this. I'm really excited, so. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this somehow, I'm, give me a like, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. Um, and if you didn't, uh, give me a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Alright, guys. See you in the next one. Adios.